Welcome back to another FC24 player review. Today's player review is the Euro Path to Glory Andre Ratu from level 4 for season 7. So let's get into it. Starting off with his stats, you can see I played three games in rivals, scored two goals, and got one assist. So let's head into the gameplay. Okay, so into the gameplay for Ratu. Whipping it into the back post, admittedly Tadic didn't actually score but Hosselu got the rebound. Then from kickoff, Ratu running into the box, Bastoni took him down. So I thought I'd put him onto the penalty instead of Lukaku. Does he score it? Of course he does, sent check the wrong way. Then Rasu on the ball once again, running towards that byline. This time cuts it back in for Lukaku who tucks it away. And then this is the final clip of the gameplay, so I'll be back with the pros and cons in a second. Now that you've seen the gameplay moving on to the pros, first of all is his pace. He's got 98 pace with an anchor, incredibly fast. Not many attackers actually got away from him. Then his 96 attacking positioning. For me, this card genuinely could have actually been a right winger because of his attacking positioning. I'll also talk about a con later on. But then he's got very good passing, 92 crossing, 86 vision and 92 curve. Along with the whipped pass plus, absolutely incredible for taking it out to the wing, crossing it back post and as you saw from the gameplay unfortunately I didn't actually score many headers but it was Tadic at the back post so I think that's realistically why. Then he's got great dribbling, his lowest stat is his 87 balance, he's got fantastic defending, I mean for me he broke up so much play. If anyone tried to go down the left wing he literally just stopped everyone. With an anchor, he does actually have 99 stand tackling. Absolutely fantastic. And then finally, he's got incredible physicals. Considering he's only got 93 stamina, genuinely felt like 99. Or even if he did have Relentless Plus, which he doesn't. But for some reason, this card, he just did not tire. On to the cons for Ratu. First of all is his 3 star skill moves, for me if this card was 4 star 5 star because as you can see the next con is his 4 star weak foot, for me if he was 4 star 5 star he's genuinely one of the best right backs on the game because he was just so consistent, so good at defending, so good at attacking but unfortunately the lack of skill moves, his weak foot just didn't feel the best. And then the last con is his high medium work rate. Now the reason I've put that is because he was great offensively and he was great defensively but his positioning for being a right back wasn't the best at times and I think if you played him as a right wing back then it probably isn't really a con. So would I recommend using Europath to glory Andre Ratu? In my opinion, I would say yes if you use a La Liga team or need a La Liga right back. For me, he genuinely was actually a really surprisingly good card. His pace, his passing, his defensive ability, his dribbling's great, his physicals are great. The only real cons to him are his skill moves and weak foot because otherwise, as I said, He's actually probably one of the best right backs on the game, which sounds mental because probably no one's ever heard of him. But for me, I really enjoyed using this card. If I was to use him again, I would definitely use him as a right wing back because of his offensive ability. Just his crosses alone are worth having him in your team. And then defensively, fantastic, out of position at times, but overall, 
I think this is actually a really solid right back card. Thank you for watching this player review. If you did enjoy it, drop a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new. But for now, I'll see you in the next one.